Hi guys, Hello Kitty here. Today we've got a quick, another quick mediocre tutorial on performance in world building for VRChat. Now, wow, this video is going to be about real time lengths, which you should try to avoid, but there are some cases where you can. Baking can be prohibitive to people who are new to Unity because there's a uh, quite a learning curve to get bake times reasonable and light map size decent. So we're gonna be we're gonna have a little scene right here with a few lights. It looks pretty simple. You'd think, wow, modern computers should be able to render this, no problem. Just a bunch of cubes with a few lights. I've seen, you know, my computer can render Battlefield One. You know, <laughs> you'd think this is okay, but when we hop over to the game view, when we pull down the stats tab, you'll see, wow, 600 draw calls with 300 of them being batched. That is pretty crazy. For such a small scene, and draw calls are the limiting performance factor in VR chat and in many games, because right now those all have to be, be have to be created on the CPU, sent up to the GPU. Now that can be time consuming. At this amount of draw calls, you're probably okay, but in more complex scenes with more complex geometry and shaders, you're going to start paying a price. So, but how, what can we do? We, we can't bake light for whatever reason. Well, one thing that you can do is almost immediately you can just disable shadows, okay? Now, we didn't. We only saved 100 batches. But most of those were static batched, which is part of what happens when you are casting shadows. And you can do some you can do some batching there, thankfully. But 300 is still a lot for such a simple scene, especially since without lighting, it's only five. Or less. If we run it, we might even get more batched at runtime. But wow, so what can we do? Well, here's the thing. VRChat uses the forward rendering path. So every time a light hits this vertex, it has to, has to render again. The object has to render again. And in fact, I think if it hits an object, it has to render again, not just the vertex. It hits the object, it has to render again. That's just how it works. But there is one thing we can do to compute all this lighting in a single rendering, a single pass, and that is with vertex lights. Now vertex lights are all handled at once, and it's in the first pass, which is great, up to four lights. And the way that we can tell these things to be vertex lights is, let's go ahead and click on them all, and set the render mode to not important. Now they're all being computed per vertex, approximated per vertex, and well, the result, 60 batches. That's that's a lot better. It's not perfect, but it's better. And if we run game mode, uh, yeah. So uh, don't worry about that. That's just some. That's just an artifact from not baking reflection environment reflections. So yeah, um, what we get is that right there. Let me go ahead and show you that this, you know, your scene isn't gonna look bad just because of that. Okay, see, so yeah, there. And then we run it, and boom, there we go. So we're only paying 60. That's great. Now, you should almost always use big lighting, though, because you can achieve the same performance. Let me show you. Go back to important, I'll turn on shadows, and even shadows. So, wow, we're back to 300 again. Well, let's bake this. And I have a video on bakes and how to get decent bake times. And wow, we're, we've got them as pixel lights, we've got shadows only 60 batches. That's great. Uh, the additional lighting intensity you see in here is a result of the indirect lighting. I'll talk a lot more about bake lighting in another terrible mediocre tutorial video, okay? So don't worry about it for now, but if you just want real-time light, one thing you gotta remember is change the render mode to not important and turn them into vertex lights. That's all for today. That's the whole video can be summed up as that. So thanks for watching guys. I'm sure I'll have another uh, terrible low budget unedited tutorial video coming at you sometime today or tomorrow and until then guys thanks for watching